I have two questions for you. Why are you not using WebP format in all your web development stuff? And two, why is the image viewer in the GNOME desktop called Eye of GNOME? So the WebP format, in my opinion, has officially arrived. It's got support on almost every major browser, including longtime holdouts Safari and Safari for iOS, because Apple has a big problem if there's a image, audio, or video codec, they didn't have a hand in collecting some of the royalties from the patents. They don't want to support it. They are just adamant about that. The cool cats over at OMG Linux have laid out a great little uh, tutorial of what you need to get WebP working in Nautilus. Normally, I would just be like, hey, look at this website, blah, 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 blah. But really, it comes down to you install WebP PixBuff Loader. That's it. Now, this is a library that for some reason, a lot of uh, distributions did not package that with it, but that's all it takes. That's all it takes to get it work. And I think out of the box, as long as you run, install this and install the package WebP, then it works in Image Magic. It works in your desktop. I will link both this OMG Linux one and OMG Ubuntu one where they have the a repository you can add for Ubuntu-based systems. Honestly, this is just one of those things that should be there. But the good news is when it works, it works fantastically because it's, it's supported by both Nautilus and, of course, your image viewer, I have GNOME. By the way, were you aware that the image viewer for GNOME, I know it's just listed as image viewer, but it's Eye of GNOME. Why is that? There's got to be like a reason for this. Totally off on a tangent here. Okay, the, the name Eye of GNOME is a pun on the phrase Eye of God, which refers to a nebula that resembles an eye in space. I'm not sure how satisfied or dissatisfied I am with that answer. But either way, Eye of GNOME can support WebP images. Yeah. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to support me, you can subscribe. You can also hit up my Patreon and my LibrePay. That would be awesome. And side note, um, uh, I'm sorry I haven't been posting much lately. I still haven't even cleaned the new office that I moved into like over a month ago. So sorry.